What is happening guys, Raul TV, Team R for you, all your favourite YouTube mechanic, we're back again and as you can see, what's, what's wrong with this picture? I'm at home, relaxing because the dreaded gout has stro struck again, okay, uh, this time on my elbow, I didn't even know you can get it on your elbow, anyway, uh, what we're doing now is obviously what I did that other day, but obviously I didn't do the intro and outro and everything, is we're going to do uh, the brake pad, rear brake pad replacement on a Hyundai i40 2020 1920 kind of thing uh, so yeah check this out so the first thing we'll do is what we'll do is take the brake fluid cap off you don't have to if you don't want to but it's a good practice take the brake fluid cap off okay guys so first things first what we're gonna do is i've took the brake fluid cap off right um i didn't show you guys that but take the brake fluid cap off i'll show you anyway right um and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get uh, this software here as you can see it's an autel software uh, the back of the the scanner here it's the maxicom mk 808 z that's the one that you want okay so uh, let's get out from there okay so right we're on the home screen here we're going to go to service Okay, I tried the snap on one top done software. What I've got, I, I even tried the snap on one, wouldn't do it. So, this one here, okay, hotel does it. So, electric parking brake, we have to release it. Okay, we have to find Hyundai. Hyundai, where are you? Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. It's called uh, Hyundai. So, give that a hit. So, automatic selection or manual selection, I'll go to auto selection. Right, I have to enter the VIN number, so give me a minute and I'll get back at you guys. Okay, so I've just entered the uh, chassis number and everything, press yes. Okay, so once we get to this screen here, right, uh, we're going to hit the hot functions. I don't know why they call it hot functions, why do they call it hot functions? I don't know, anyway, uh, electric park, EPB, electric, park, uh, electric parking brake, hit that. Right, so brake pad change mode, so hit that. Right, so it says here, engine off, ignition on, which I have. Engine off, ignition on. Okay, and then we're going to go around to here. As you can see, button one is to apply, button two is to release. So we're going to hit button two. I can hear it in the background. Wind it in. That's it, it's all done. As you can see there, it says rear brake pad in service mode. Right, let's re uh, now it's just exactly the same as doing a brake pad replacement. Right, let's go, let's do it. Okay, I'm doing this on the floor because I've got cars on the ramp, as you can see there, both ramps have been occupied. So I've got the axle stand on there, got it jacked up and everything. Axle stand, make sure it's nice and safe, got a block on the front, it's on the other side. Right, sorry about the noise in the background. So we're gonna get ourselves a 14 mil spanner or ratchet, socket, whatever you've got. Take these two bolts off, exactly like a brake pad change. Take that one off. Take this one off. Boom, there we go. Get a little flat screwdriver and just ping that off, that caliper off, and we're good to go. Let's do it. Right, so get yourself a screwdriver, pry bar, whatever you've got, and just give that a little prying off. There we go, that comes off. We just leave that to a side there. Then we're gonna come inside here. Take these little clips off. Okay, and then take the pads off, just one minute. Let's get the, that pry bar again. Give it a little hit, which is not gonna come off, so I'm gonna give it a little hammering. We've done this 100 times on Raul TV, so nothing much different, exactly the same again. I know I'm being a bit rough and drastic this time with a, a pry bar, but normally I do it with a screwdriver, but whatever you can find in front of you, just use it. So there we go, brake pads are off. Happy day, throw them away. What we're gonna do now is, we need to push this piston back in, right? Should go straight in, you don't need to wind it in or anything. You can use the winder to push it in. That's what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. That's my brother 
banging away on the another car. So this is what I'm going to do. I've got the wind back tool, but obviously I'm using the flat edge. Get it in there. So they're basically push back, so you don't need to wind them in. So there we go. All the way in. It should go in nice and easy. There we go, happy days. Let's wind that back off. Ta -da. There we go. Right, let's get the pads on. Okay guys, so there's the brake pads. I've already got the inside one in because you can't really see that one. So I've just got that in, out of the way. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna get some ceramic grease on there. I like using this one because I think this is a lot better. And I'll put, plus I'll tell you, ever since we started using the ceramic grease, we've not had a car come back with brake squeak. So, get this on there. I'm trying to do this with left hand. Because my cameraman has done one. Where are you cameraman? Come on, where are you? I need some help here. Right, one minute. Right, so I've got my cameraman now to give me a uh, give me a little hand. Is it that Raul TV moving up in the world? We've got a cameraman now, all right? Cameraman. Paying him good money as well. Right, there we go. Brake pad is on. What we'll do now is, if you want, you can give it a clean out. Make sure these are nice and free. The sliders, these, which they are. Right, so we've got the pads up. We've got the pads on. Make sure you put these little clips on. Can't really get it wrong. Put on there and on there. That's it. These help it from sticking. I'll put the caliper back on. Ta da there we go. Get the two bolts back on. One, I'm gonna use the electric bracket. I've got no time to waste. Boom, there we go. And then just double check it with a normal spanner. Get the wheel back on, give that a clean out because the wheel was quite hard to come off. I'm gonna do the other side, and that's it, job done, let's go. Okay guys, as you can see there, wheels back on, everything is on, we're gonna go inside the car again, because we left it at that stage, remember? Right, let's just pump the brake brakes up, pump them up. Right, brakes are pumped up. So all we need to do now is, it says to apply button A, button A is there, Autel software, let's go. Button A. That's it, it's all completed. Here we go. It has been completed, so we press OK. Done. And we'll just cancel. That's it, happy days. Job done. Okay, so the the last thing to do is now uh, basically uh, uh, put the brake fluid cap on, which I will do in a minute, and then just try the handbrake, see if it works. So foot on the brake. Handbrake off, handbrake on, happy days, absolutely fantastic. Start the car up, boom, let's go. So as you can see, the handbrake sign's on. Handbrake sign off, on. There we go, job done, let's go. Right, so everything is on, the wheel, everything's back on. We've done what we had to do with the uh, computer, everything. Let's put the cap back on, there we go.